Très bon, splendide, très magnifique. Oh là là, à la Guadalupe, this is a local bliss, this is a local love. Adding a little dash of this and throwing a little hand for that. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever imagined that we would be celebrating the wedding of one of our daughters here in Mallorca. The very place where Lourdes and I began our own journey 42 long years ago. <laughs> Thank you, Laura and Tucker, for choosing this magical place. Rita has had many, many layers of friends throughout the years, and she will always be surrounded by tons of very good friends. Not only because she knows how to choose them, but because she knows how to keep them. Thank you for bringing us this beautiful island to experience the wedding of a lifetime. The food, the views, the entertainment, Lords' dance moves. Everything is perfect, and we can't thank you enough for allowing us to celebrate Lauren Tucker in the most authentic way possible. L'amour, c'est facile. L'amour, c'est magnifique. L'amour, c'est la joie. L'amour. C'est splendide, on rêve en amour, l'amour c'est toi et moi. I thought the love was metaphysical, but that was way before my soul adored you. Cause Aristotle never looked into your eyes. And on the love front, she had just truly met Tucker. And for the first time, there was undeniably something there. But senior year wasn't the time for Tucker and Laura. But that's not to say that our friend group didn't always make time to hit up the baseball house for a party or two. And looking back on it, with Laura being one of our key ringleaders in the group, it all seems like she might have had an agenda to bump into the baseball kids when given the opportunity. A few short years after graduating college, Laura really evolved as a young and independent adult. She had moved to New York City, she had changed jobs, and she was really living that single girl lifestyle in the West Village. And as fate would have it, Laura and Tucker bumped into each other at the most elegant and romantic spot in New York City called Hair of the Dog. This would finally be their time. Tucker took Laura on their first official date at this actual cute spot and romantic place called Bar Fedora. Laura told us that she kept telling Tucker, it's never gonna work, essentially writing off the, and resisting the inevitable feelings that she had. But Tucker persisted and their relationship progressed. But with time, I saw firsthand why Laura was drawn to him. He is smart, driven, and patient in all the right ways. As tomorrow comes and you start your new life together as both husband and wife, moving into your new home, putting away the clothes which helped make today very special, when you, your journey and new life will begin, may you both embrace the thought of laying down one's life for each other. I 
I, Tucker, take you, Laura Justine, as my wife. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Laura. I, Laura. Take you, Toker. Take you, Tucker. As my husband. As my husband. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. For rich or poor. For in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of our lives. All the days of our lives. In an auditorium filled with thousands of eligible bachelors, we could never have handpicked a better partner for our Laura than Tucker. I'll stick my head out the window. I'll fly wherever the wind blows. Moon walking over. Fast the forward rainbow. to 10 years of knowing Laura, and over those years, I've seen her assume many roles. She remains an all encompassing best friend to me. But for others, she'll continue to be the many iterations of Laura as we know her. The person you can always count on. The person who challenges you to do the right thing. The person who will drop everything when you're in need. The person whom we all know is the life of the party. And now she'll take, a new, she'll take on a new role as Tucker's wife, which will be her most important role yet. Yeah. The hard nights pay no attention to hindsight. Learn to let it go. But seriously, I'm so happy for the two of you. I wish you both a life of love, health, and happiness. And now I'll end with my favorite Irish blessing. Here's to a long life and a merry one, a quick death and an easy one, a pretty girl and an honest one, a cold pint and another one. Cheers. <laughs> Say what? Say ooh, la ooh, la ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Move left to right. Show me what you moving like. Ooh, feeling right. Keep it moving side to side. Ooh, roll the dice. Oh, you wanna try? Ooh, left to right. Hey, it's time to slide. Ooh, ready to go. Up in the way, moving the tide, starting to wait. Party it hard, stuck in my waist. or Liri, or Tati, all the endearing nicknames that Gary, Daddy gave you along the way, is our third daughter, and you know what they say about the third. The third is the charm. Bubbly, fun-loving, and generous.
Together, I wish you both all the love in the world for this next chapter of life. May all of your moments be centered with loyalty and respect for one another. May you always keep each other in balance, and may you continue to love each other more and more every day. Cheers to you on this next chapter.